zero zero is the number you call in on www.voiceradio.com as sponsored by the Adams Board and pretty much everything else. So I said last week that I was going to focus in. I'll focus in on politicians, but what about the people in the community, especially the people that are doing it? We always talk about our youth not doing nothing. Yeah, there it is. They are crazy. They don't do nothing. I got two entrepreneurs that are under 30 years old in my building right now. They got a movement. They got a company. So without further ado, um, before I even have EP play the entrance music, I'm going to say this. Uh, Brittany Griner, I know that everybody talking about it. So they're trying to release an arms dealer to get her back here. The uh, WNBA player that's been held by Russia for over 160 days over there because she had cannabis on her. Just let free Brittany Griner, whatever you got to do, do it. Um, she's in a part of war. So just letting you guys know, by the way, there are going on a couple of events. If you are at Midtown, Go check out this young African-American woman, Chelsea Clark, who's running for Secretary of State. But now that the politics is over, let's go around. EP, play the interest music. All right. The reason I'm playing Usher my way is because they did it their way. Now, these two entrepreneurs are in my building right about now, and they have a moving company. Please welcome the greatest of all time, the GOAT. <laughs> Movers, what's going on, fellas? Y'all introduce yourselves. I don't want to just what's the what's your what's your names? I know one of you per, really well, so go ahead. Hey, uh, my name is Alex Jackson, one of the uh, co-owners of the Goat Movers. Hold on, hold on. Hey, uh, my name is Alex Jackson. I'm one of the co-owners of Goat Movers. Uh, we have a moving company based out of Cleveland, Ohio, and the name speaks for itself, man. We goats. <laughs> All right, what's your name, sir? My name is DeAngelis Brown. Okay. So, all right, let's get it first off first because I pretty much know Alex's backstory a little bit. Well, what what made you start Go Movers? Um, I, I, well, I basically explain. So, uh, we started working at a moving company uh, mm -hmm. called Move for Less, and uh, <clears throat> we was like really, we was really like the top guys there. Like that's really how I feel, and. Uh, Working every day, almost every night, and we really just like figure like we doing all this work, we make it, and we ain't really making too much money. Like, mm -hmm. and it ain't. I mean, I don't know. We just start figuring out the game from there, for real. So, what did you learn by working for that company? Uh, what did we? We, like, we. I mean, pretty much the uh, like because you're moving stuff, but the business part. What did you learn as far as the business wise of moving? Um, of the moving company, how everything worked. Well, uh, some older guys we worked with, like I remember this one guy's name was Tommy, must have been like I think in the sixties, and he taught us just a lot of tricks on how to not tear up our bodies, how to like pack a truck to where you're not damaging customers' items, mm -hmm. stuff like that, just protect stuff. Okay, how long y'all work there? I was there for about three, four years. I think I was there like one or two. Okay. Before we started our own. And how did you get a chance to start your own? What what? What was the process of starting your own? Well, um, I think at first we started just trying to uh, get friends and family that we knew were moving soon to uh, let us, you know, move their stuff just to create like, you know, maybe a, just some word of mouth but a promotion so people could tell like, you know, their friends and family that we do a good job. And then uh, once we started generating a little bit of more uh, money, we took it serious and then we thought about like a brand. That's where the uh, goat movers came from. We got our LLC, you know, business insurance, stuff like that, just to be, like, completely, like, protected. And took a lot of little bumps and bruises and losses, you know, but still here. Okay. So, with, so with okay, I understand greatest of all time. So, who came up with the name? Um, I, I mean, I don't remember, honestly. <laughs> I, really, I really came up with the name. Uh-huh. And then, I mean, we just stuck with it. Okay. Yeah, okay, but then the thing about it is, I see the logo. Who designed the logo? Uh, me. I got a graphic design and web design company, Ajax Graphics. So I do all our content and stuff like that: flyers, logos, business cards, websites, you name it. 
Okay, so you not only have the moving company, but you also have something that is drastically needed because everybody needs stuff designed, right? Absolutely. All right, so as far as where is the office located? Or how do people, like, where is the office located? Uh, so we're based out of Bedford right now, uh, but we're looking to expand, honestly, so uh, definitely some big things coming soon. Okay, so the question is, is that you guys are young. And you learned the game from you know somebody there. I mean, you could easily just work for the company and not do this. So, the motivation for you to start your own business what was what was the mo- what was it like? Finally, one day, like you know what, I'm tired of working for this moving company. I'm gonna start. What was the motivation? If you, I mean, we before like even work, we always had like that mindset in us. Mm-hmm. Uh, we knew each other for for a long time, and we just always had that like. Go get it mindset. Um, we never really wanted to work a job. Mm-hmm. We, we was the type of guys. I mean, if we needed the money, we was gonna go and get it. So uh, it was just at that point, like when we start realizing we doing all this work and not making as much as we know we could be making. Mm-hmm. It made us like, yeah, for sure. All right. So when did you start Go Backwards? When did you start the business? Uh, we're coming up on our second year. Um, I think our official date. As far as like being official with the Secretary of State and everything, uh, April first, two thousand like twenty, mm-hmm. I mean or twenty one. So, so you started a business during the pandemic. How was that like? Um, it seemed like the pandemic was a while ago. So honestly, I don't really remember. Just like I don't know, but it started. It started off slow, but yeah, it yeah, just started picking up from there. Okay, so you had word of mouth. So I know that you got a lot of like a lot of people are just wondering, you know, how during that time, because that's when the pandemic or coming out of it, that's when a lot of businesses were not only slowing down, but some of them, especially minority owned businesses were shutting down. So how did you get a chance to over how did you overcome it and survive, you know, being and in, going into your second year, how did you do that? I think social media, honestly. I think uh, everybody was spending so much time on their phone, like on Facebook, Instagram, and just us attacking, like with our content a lot, just making sure that we're always posting new flyers and just DMing people and just letting people know, you know, that we out here and that we're willing to work. I think, uh, I think that's definitely where we got a lot of our business from. Mm-hmm. So, do you consider yourself a traditional moving company or a non-traditional moving company? Like, you know, like a lot of moving companies, they have you know the older guys, and you like. But what do you consider yourselves as far as as far as a company, a company period? Definitely the goats. So the greatest moving company uh, for sure. But I consider us um, like somewhere like it's always been one of my goals. But like when we started this business. For us to employ like young guys is just like us. So like a lot of our friends work with us that we went to school with, and even like our little brothers and like our little cousins and stuff like that. And uh, they can make some like honest money, you know, and they get paid, you know, the same day, and they're not in trouble, and they're learning something that they can do on their own. So pretty much, you are keeping it in the family. Yeah, definitely. So how hard is it to have you? How hard is it to convince your family members? Because when I first started at Voice it years ago. It was like, are you crazy? But then all of a sudden, the notoriety and stuff is coming. How hard was it to convince, you know, your brothers and your siblings and your cousins to work for you? Well, work with you, pretty much. Honestly, we learned, well, I've learned for sure that um, if you got to convince somebody to work, I'm not going to do it. So Mm -hmm. anybody that works with us, because nobody works for us, we like to say they work with us. Mm -hmm. They are partners, for sure. They help us just as much as we help them. But anybody that work with us, they want to. And they want to, you know, learn. They want to make some honest money. They want to, you know, get some good exercise. You know. So, I gotta give a couple. Of, you like you. I gotta give a couple of shout outs. Cornelius Brown, mm-hmm. Dean. That's your dad. Yeah. That's All right, that's your dad. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, Elisa Townsend, Alex. That's your mom. So, uh, especially, I had to, you know. And the reason why this came up because you know, Elisa was like, yeah, "You got to get them on the show." I was like, "Whenever they're available." And I keep my promises. And I said, I'm going to get them on the show. Which day y'all want? So uh, I just got to get on because y'all been pretty busy, you know. 
So do you stick within the Northeast Ohio area or do you help people that want to move out of town? No, sir. No, we will not. Anywhere. Everywhere. Anywhere. So far, we haven't been as far as, um, I don't know if Georgia or, um, where we just go? Um, Tennessee. I think, I think Georgia is a little bit farther. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, we go anywhere. So you would so you get up saying I I need to move to Georgia I got a house down there you need to move, I need to move my furniture down there so you get the truck and y'all drive down there absolutely yeah usually fly back okay all right so it'd probably be easier to do such so how do you and it's and, and usually Georgia and I know my uncle it's like a ten to twelve hour drive wasn't it absolutely okay. So y'all had to take turns, you know, take the coffee, the whatever, the um, what was that? What is the what is the yeah, boot? Right, yeah. So you had to take one of those to keep up, and then you had to drive back. So, what is the rate um for your services? Um, so for each move, like we can talk about locally first, because that's uh more more like the base of our uh, jobs is local jobs, like meaning like in Ohio. Um, so we're a hundred dollars an hour. And two dollars a mile right now with mm-hmm. a two hundred dollar deposit, which secures your services, and that uh, that two hundred dollars goes towards the first two hours of services. We also offer, besides moving TV mountain services, um, like for if you let's say you got a new rental property, uh, like clean outs and hauling jobs. Uh, we do furniture and appliance assemblies. So like if you got a new fridge, you need to install it and assemble. Mm-hmm. We got you um, pretty much one stop shop as far as anything with your house. So you can mount that big old screen that somebody didn't grow up. Yes, sir. Uh, you can assemble the furniture. Yes, sir. And then you can fix them, not fix, but assemble the refrigerator. Uh, so how much does that cost, um, anybody? Um, so we quote each job, especially for, like, assemblies and stuff like that, separate, uh, depending on what you want. Like, um, we had a guy in Solon, uh, one of our teachers, actually, uh, and we went to school with Mr. Phillips. Mm-hmm. Um, he had a home... Um, theater system installed so he got the, the reclining chairs with the cup holders and the lights underneath uh, and then he got a 120 inch um projector screen with the projector and he got a bar in the back pool table so he did the whole nine so you know something like that you know it would be a little bit more rather than you know getting your tv mounted and your new table put together so i'm gonna go over mr Bates. where you live at he said he in bedford i would go over there uh, undisclosed location <laughs> you know, he out there. all right so <laughs> it's like and shoot, he should have like the first game of the season, football season coming up. So the first game of the season, should invite y'all out there. Yeah, we need some seats. Right, exactly. <laughs> so now the thing about it is, is like it sounds like your rates are competitive or even less than other moving companies. Is that what I'm getting at? Yeah, that's definitely accurate. When we um when we started, we made sure like we looked at everybody's prices for uh local moving companies and we basically just tried to beat them all so we could definitely be competitive. Yeah. Okay. So you wanted to be competitive just as st- I'm pretty much stay up low because, you know, with the pandemic, everybody's still coming out of it. Everybody still ain't got, don't have any money, you know, sure. but, and then there was not a lot of moving because it was stay at home, stay put. So now that there's a, now you also said you do clean outs. Do you, do companies hire you to do clean outs or just individual people? Companies can come hire us and do it, but usually we just got customers calling us just to come clean them up. Like what, apartment buildings, houses, things of that yeah. name? Okay, so it's like just get rid of everything and throw everything out? Mm-hmm. Okay. So what are your so what is your goal in the next five years as far as expansion? I like that question. Um, I say, like, our goals in the next five years, so if it's 2022 right now, mm-hmm. um, I got my eyes, we got our eyes for sure on uh, Columbus in the future. Mm-hmm. I think like the Columbus area, because it's, it's the capital, I think that's a good area for us to ex- expand to next. And then like just like basically the Detroit, Chicago, like PA area, just to, you know, like our neighboring, you know, states first. Mm-hmm. I want to touch those and then hopefully get. I like New York too. I think New York could be a real good spot for yeah. us just because it's so populated. Yeah, it's busy. You got people moving in, moving out all the time. So, any uh, anybody famous besides anybody famous yet? No, um, nobody else. I don't oh. think so. Okay. Not yet. Okay. All right. So, 
They ain't got no worries. And this is Lil Wayne. We ain't got no worries. We're here with the GOAT Movers on Headlines and Headaches on VoiceRadio.com. When we come back, we're just going to talk about the future and how they, these young men are taking care of their families. We'll be right back on Headlines and Headaches. Golly. Like, West Coast is next. I know Cornelius. He just told me. He on my Facebook already. <laughs> Oh, my God. 